Do you remember Tony Anholt? Uh, yes. Good. Uh, well, Space 1999 fans will know him as Security Chief Tony Videshi in Year 2, uh, and obviously the Protectors fans, and I can hear you screaming in your legions, <laughs> uh, will know him as Paul, an international man of mystery in that series. Uh-huh. Uh, we've talked about Tony before in Fan Facts, when we discovered that he made more appearances than any other live-action actor in Anderson shows. I think you might remember that one. Um, yes. If you don't, the total was 65 episodes. Amazing. That's quite something, isn't it? But did you know, Podstrons, that Tony Anholt almost quit before he set that record? Oh? Well, you're going to find out about that now. Go on. Uh, Like many performers, Tony had tried a lot of professions before he fell into acting. Those professions include insurance, teaching, and even tea tasting. (laughs) Right. Did you even know that was a thing? Yes, I did, yes. Uh, Okay, fine. But it was his memories of uh, school play successes. Oh, That's you tea tasting, is it? Yeah, that's what you do. Very very good, thank you. Uh, It wasn't that, but it was his memories of school play successes that made him decide to give acting a try. Uh, An actor friend who Tony declined to name in interviews, rather sadly, was switching careers to become a director, and he offered Mm. to allow Tony to use a string of American acting credits on his CV. These credits were earned by the friend and not by Tony, but the two friends guessed that casting directors wouldn't check up on it, and they were right. (laughs) So using his borrowed resume, Tony was soon a full-time actor and (laughs) con man by the sounds of it. Yes, wow. Uh, The Protectors was a major role for him, but after the second series ended, he discovered the series hadn't put him on the map in the way that he'd hoped. Uh Now, feeling typecast, he tried switching agents, but started spending more and more time unemployed. A familiar story, I'm sure. Mm. His theatrical contacts forgot about him, considering him a screen actor, uh, but more television jobs were not forthcoming. So it was a chance encounter with another friend that led to an interview with a company that organised international conferences, of all things. Right. Tony saw an opportunity to travel the world, earn a smaller but steadier income, and meet some new people. So sayonara acting. Aloha yeah. International Conferencing. <laughs> I don't think that's a direct quote, but certainly no, that's the theme here. Yeah. Uh, now, it was while waiting for this interview to roll round that Tony received his second call from one Mr. Jerry Anderson. Uh-huh. Abe Mandel of ITC New York had specifically requested Tony for the second year of Space 1999, and for once, Dad and Lou Grade agreed with him. Uh-huh. It was a solid year of work and a second shot at stardom in a major international series, so Tony skipped his conferencing interview and took the role on Space 1999 instead. And after that, his acting career picked back up, and he was a very busy actor then until his death in 2002. Uh So it's a nice reminder that sometimes when things look bleakest, you could be right on the verge of an international rescue. Oh, there we go. Yeah, don't I know it? Absolutely. <laughs> Isn't That's that right. nice? Yeah, lovely. Good. Gosh. Well, him. I, I, I mean, there are so many stories. If you, if you look back and you make all the little connections of all yeah. the things that had to happen for people to be in the right place at the right time. Oh, absolutely. It's amazing that anything happens at all. Absolutely right. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, synchronicity is, is got, has got a lot to answer for. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, I mean, think think of it. If uh, you know, you would you and I hadn't had that chance meeting uh, in the, the in the lobby outside yeah. uh, L and M stage. Yeah, we then wouldn't you, be sat here you, now, would we? You wouldn't be two hundred and thirty four podcasts <laughs> into the Jerry Anderson uh, podcast. So who knows? No, I might have been. It just might have been me, and Lou Hirsch. Oh, can you imagine that? Can you imagine? <laughs> Well, maybe there's a special edition for Pod 300. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah, no, interesting, that, but using nice. someone else's CV, though. Wow. Yes, I mean, I don't think, Tony. Yeah, you couldn't get away with that these days because everything, I suppose, is so much more easily checked. You yes. know, you just go straight online, straight to IMDb or Spotlight or whatever it might be, and it's all there. So it's yeah. not just a piece of paper anymore. No, information is so readily available yes. and so easily checkable. Although Ooh. there's plenty of people that do... You know, oh, manage sure. to fudge things and yeah, yeah. Uh, you know behave like frauds. But and also, you know, well, there's nothing wrong with blagging your way through. I have to say, no. You know what I mean? If you believe in yourself and Fake you know you can you do the it. job, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Well, there you that's go. I'm, doing. I'm glad that uh, that's how things worked out for Tony. Sorry, he had to go through that bleak time, but there you go. Yeah. Lucky the timing worked, and uh, yes. for once, 
ITC New York and Dad and Lou all agreed on something for yes. Series right. 2 of Space 1999. So there we go. Yeah.